Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. I'm your host Eddie Kanobot and this is Isaac News. So on Isaac News, our job basically here is to bring you good news um, of amazing things happening in Nigeria and just run commentary trying to explain the economic impact, the social impact, the psychological impact and just to help you understand that, you know, though things are not yet rosy, but we are making bold steps in the right direction. So on today's episode of, you know, Isaac News, we're going to be running commentary on CNN and its reportage about Nigeria and Africa in the whole. So very recently, the Abuja airport shut down in order to undergo re um, repair, rehabilitation, and some upgrade of the airport and the runway so that we can, you know, meet international standards and not have issues, you know, um, with um, the whole airport and stuff like that. So. Um, CNN, CNN um, took this to the news and, you know, we're trying to belittle the effort of the Nigerian government to put things in place to, in, to ensure safety, you know, safety for the passengers, for the, air, for the airport and just better air service delivery. So the port was shut down for a few months and was rehabilitated and was, as in the place, they just pimp the whole place. It was looking so nice, so beautiful. And it was up to international, international standards. And it was opened again for you know for use by customers and oh, as you know bad news flies good news crawls you know but this is cnn and, the, and the, the, you know they are reporting they are having a report that says from railways to ports you know these infrastructures so cnn has a headline that runs you know from railways to ports this infrastructure mega project are reshaping africa and then on the report that has to do with nigeria you know it says a photograph taken on july 1st 2022 shows the birthing of the first ship at lake deep seaport so um on july 1st 2022 lake deep seaport that had been undergoing construction for a while now received its first ship so this is the deepest seaport in the country and it is designed to handle over 4 million metric tons of dry goods a year and it is expected to generate a revenue of over 361 billion dollars and create up to 170,000 new jobs across the african continent innovative transport systems telecom op um, operations smart cities are being developed to boost economies and increase trade opportunities so this is seen and running and then it has a lot of slides Talking about other countries as well as well why am i reporting on this this is um the african continent you know contrary to popular opinion has been trying its best to put things in place and europe is recognizing it it's very unfortunate that you know we who are here you know so we've been we've been so blinded by the hardship we are we are facing and, and we are going through that we cannot see the you know the the foundation stones that are being laid in order to change the narrative and change the whole ecosystem the shape the face the world view of africa as a whole but a lot of things are going on okay and don't just allow the europeans to see them alone and you don't, you don't get to see it because the more myopic your vision about your country is the less you stand to benefit so if you know where the hot spots are right now in your countries you would know how to invest, you would know where to go, you would know how to, um, well, I say, make decisions, probably learn skills that, you know, would serve you better, make more money for you. So right now, Nigeria is having a whole tech revolution. So it is a high time that a lot of people went into um, learning web designing, front end, back end, blockchain, coding, and, you know, just the whole tech, um, the whole tech world and the whole tech ecosystem because it is new and unsaturated right now in the african economy so it is the best time for people to go in there now that it's not yet saturated and you know make a name for themselves um gain good grounds and enjoy the enormous process that this sector has to offer now there are many sectors but when you're blind to these opportunities you suffer the consequence of the blindness so it is important that we understand that things are changing for Europe to recognize and even attest to this fact, it means that this change is very, very obvious. You know, it's, it's, it's there, it's obvious for all to see, but many times it's very hard for us to see beyond our noses, and it shouldn't be so. A lot is going on, a lot is happening, 
and we should not you know allow our um unhappiness our you know years of heartbreak and years of horror and tyranny and maltreatment to pre prevent us from seeing the good that is happening and embrace it and benefit maximally from it and you know as we continue doing all this we are going to change the narrative that the west will portray about us the most stake we have for instance now although the west does not really like when i say the west i mean um america and um, and western europe not majorly eastern europe or asia america and western europe and, and canada australia and the rest um the west doesn't really like china okay but china has put itself in a place on the world stage where it is indispensable you cannot not help but use Chinese products and have trade and relations with them. So China, you know, because of all this, can force this country to actually portray a particular image about them and force this country to, you know, force this country's media to push a certain narrative about China that would favor them. China has a lot of stake in Hollywood and makes Hollywood make movies that we will not bash them we will not try to um, paint them bad or paint them wrong and would also help them collaborate with Chinese um, film industry to equally make movies that can sell and grow globally. Okay, so because of this high stake China has, you cannot, you cannot just install them anyhow. You would suffer for it. So by the time the African um, continent begins to equally grow, we can have a stake on the world stage that makes Europe treat us the way we ought to be treated and makes their reporting to reflect the beauties that we have to offer and not just talking about poverty and being a third world nation and being so weak and marginalized and you know disenfranchised and all those big big about they tend to speak that try to you know um solidify a mindset of dependency a mindset of um a beggarly mindset a mindset that you that we're entitled to 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 sorry and pity from the European community because of what happened 200, 300 years ago. All those needs to go down the drain. It's high time that we begin to build and, you know, bring what we have to the table, to the world table, so that we too can be given the respect that we need. So the long and short of this video is that a lot is happening on the African continent and we should put our, you know, our efforts behind our respective governments and see how to take our countries from wherever they are to the next level. So this is the end of today's video. Thank you very much for listening through this video. Like, share, subscribe, share your, your comments on it. Uh, share your thoughts on the comment section. Until we see you again, remain blessed.